Negotiations between Carib Brewery Trinidad and the National Union of Government and Federated Workers for the period 2017 to 2022 have been completed. The negotiation was obviously happening in one of the most difficult times um, in, in the history of the brewery. Uh, so it was a unique situation. Hall said Carib Brewery and NUGFW settled on salary increases between 9 and 11%. Although 2020 caused some challenges, Hall said he is grateful that no permanent employees from the brewery were dismissed. So we suffered, um, we suffered quite a big loss of sales revenue uh, last year. We didn't make a loss as a business, thankfully, but um, a big reduction in sales. And so we're very happy that, and as are our, our workers and, our, and my co-workers, that we were able to get through the year without any reduction in permanent headcount. Bizarre Hassan Ali, the human resource manager of the beverage sector of Antimacal said, because of the pandemic, a creative way to handle the negotiations needed to be found. And so the negotiations were done virtually. You all know the phrase that we're all in this together. And I would say that we would truly all in this together, both union and company. Uh, and I think that's, the, that's one of the reasons we were able to come to what I would refer to as a win-win situation um, for negotiations for both the company and the employees during times like 2020 that we experienced. So what are Carrie's plans for the new year? We're definitely still struggling with the um, with the restricted uh, operation of bars. So we have, uh, we, we continue to try and recover um, and, and rebuild the business. We are looking to grow again uh, in, in 2021, but we don't expect to recover the levels that we reached in 2019. In other business news, OPEC is predicting that global demand for crude oil will grow by almost 6 million barrels per day in 2021, when compared to last year. The organization's growth projection is based on the expected increased economic activity as the world comes out of the lockdown due to the advent of the COVID-19 vaccine. Joel Julian, CNC3, Business Watch.